How's it going everyone, it's me Vivi and welcome back to some uh, Jack and Daxter. So recently, many have been trying out this new debug mode. Now before this discovery, people used to mess around PCSX2, which is this PS2 emulator. They would input a code, they would be able to unlock beta content for Jack 2 and Jack 3, for example. They would use free camera mode a lot, remember that? I don't know if you watched videos of people doing that, but the point is, this discovery is considered new because we're looking at debug mode for final versions of games from all platforms, Jack 1, 2, and 3. That's right, you can do this with your controller. Simply input a button sequence and you can enter debug mode. Huge shout out to Luminar Light, who was one of the people who helped make this discovery. The button sequence using your controller, it's crazy. Link to the channel will be in the description below. Now the content this user has, while you can see they discovered a bunch of unused content in the demos, which is pretty cool. Maybe you'd like to check it out, as I said, the link is in the description. I'd also like to thank him for letting me show some of his footage in this video. So how did all of this start? Luminar wasn't the only one in this whole discovering process. While Donkey Planet, who also has a channel, I'll leave the link in the description as well, the user was looking for debug text functions. Back in October 26, 2017, yes, this was not too long ago, Donkey Planet immediately contacted Luminar. Not too long after, Donkey Planet discovered the full menu and the demos of Jack 2 and 3 by pressing L2 and R1. Later on in January, Luminar told Donkey, hey, this combination you just showed me works for final versions of the games as well. Eventually, all of this led up to them discovering the debug mode using your controller and your second controller as well. Now, all of the names you see on screen are the people who were involved in this whole discovery process. You guys are beautiful. If you want to read the full story, you can find it on the wiki page of this discovery. The link is in in the description as well. Quickly after I watched Luminar's videos, I communicated with him on Twitter. He explained pretty much how it all turned out. Luminar mostly used PCSX2 and used these sequences on PS4. People tried it on the Vita and PS3 and they said it worked. So all of these button sequences work on all platforms, PS2, Vita, PS3, and PS4. Now on this page, all button sequences are shown. As long as you don't move the left analog stick, it should work. In Luminar's footage, you can fly, easily move from one area to another. You can enter free camera mode while in debug. You're the camera, basically. You can use this to finish the Precursor Legacy in like 2 minutes and 12 seconds, that's the record. And yeah, with that in mind, for those of you wondering about speedruns, there you go. Over on Speedrun, the website, you go into miscellaneous, click on any percentage debug, and you get the very recent scores. You can click on rules to look at the rules. Jack 2 is 37 seconds. This is absolutely hilarious. Jack 3 is 9 seconds. 9. From what I've... <laughs> 9 seconds, from what I've gathered, Jack 1's free camera mode allows you to skip as long as you don't stay out of bounds. Jack 2 and 3, to skip the whole game, there's a secret menu option in the pause menu. You jump straight to the final boss. So after discovering all this, I decided to give it a try. I started off with the Precursor Legacy, and then Jack 2 and then Jack 3 on PS3, just for the fun of it, the collection. This works on all platforms, don't forget. I only used one controller. Using a second one you can unlock even more interesting functions, collectibles and stuff. Like I said, all the button sequences are on wiki. Alright, TPL. I input both codes in-game and at the main menu. It works with both. Since I just wanted to mess around with debug mode, I pressed continue without saving. In the first game you hear two beeps, one for the partial code and another for the full one. Here's the code which you have to input, partial and full. The way I did it is I put them separately. L3, input partial, let go, press L3 again, input the second code. Once you're in debug, you can enter free camera mode by pressing L1, R1, L2, and R2. Doing this in cutscene, you have Jack walking around, which I was laughing, it's hilarious. Free camera mode also removed the characters for me in some instances. I'm not too sure if that was intentional. 
you know, part of the debug or just uh, telling me that your game's about to crash. But I was able to get out of it. When you start the game at Sentinel Beach, by pressing R2, I forgot about this, you can levitate, for those of you curious. Anyways, everything is on wiki. Entering free camera mode, going to Misty Island, the place doesn't look loaded. It's all pixelate, only shapes. Now when you're in free camera mode, if you repress L1, R1, L2, R2, you fall back. And by pressing R2, you can levitate again. Now if you just keep falling and falling, you're just gonna die over and over again. You're gonna respawn at the same place. Now dying in a level which is not loaded, it will corrupt Sentinel Beach as well. If you try to go back, the island is gone. You just see pixels, shapes. This pretty much forces you to quit the game. As for the skipping part, enter free camera mode, make sure not to be out of bounds. So just follow the same route, pretend you're playing the game normally, you're the camera this time. You can skip everything. Now I did mess up twice at Rock Village, right in front of Claw. If you go too quick, it's gonna black out everything. I succeeded by approaching Claw slower and then everything loaded and it worked. Now once I was at the Citadel, I didn't follow the right route, so yeah, it uh, glitched out. So make sure you take the right directions, or else you're just gonna be out of bounds. Once you're successful, boom, Gaul and Maya. Doing this should unlock story-related trophies. Guys, if this is your first time playing Jack and Dexter, don't do this, enjoy the game, okay? <laughs> now, you don't see trophies popping on screen because I already had platinum TPL, so yeah, there's that. Next, Jack 2. To input the code, you can do it at the main menu, it works, and at the pause menu. I tried inputting both codes in-game, but it didn't work for me. I tried it a couple of times, didn't seem to want to work. And yes, you also hear two beeps, just like the first game. Shout out to Boomer. By pausing the game right when Samo starts speaking, enter both debug codes, and then enter free camera mode. Now for me it didn't work, because I forgot to press triangle, you know, to skip the cutscene. I rewatched his video, and yes, I forgot to press triangle. If you follow his instructions, it should work. Now I did share this comment on his video. Looking at this Jack 2, well, Jack from Jack 2 in Sandower Village, there's such an empty feeling, like the dude grew up in this this place to see the place so quiet I don't know there's just this uh, feeling kind of thing going on emptiness you know that this place no longer exists after 300 years anyhow I wasn't able to enter Sandover village but I was able to enter this mode where you control the speed of the cutscenes <laughs> this was hilarious R1 to speed up and L1 to slow down. When you slow down, I absolutely love the sound it makes. Now pressing free camera mode. For me, I got Jack in his Jack 2 clothes, just floating around, like he doesn't move his legs. No pupils. That is scary. He like stares right into your soul. You use R2 to ascend, and L2 to descend. Playing around with free camera mode during cutscenes too much, it might crash your game. It happened to me once in Jack 2. Well, what happened exactly is, I just got this looks like the sea at Haven City and the sky of Haven City, if I'm not mistaken. No sound, nothing. There's like a creepy factor to it, I don't know. Now to skip the game, you open up the menu when you start the game. After Daxter rescues Jack, you press L2, R1 while you're in the pause menu to unlock hidden options. Press select start and you go down to the last boss. By beating Metal Core, you unlock, well not beating Metal Core, I mean if you enter the final boss, all story related trophies get unlocked. Locked. Now, I had mine already platinumed on PS3. To unlock the last trophy in Jack 2, since not all of them unlock, after entering the final boss, you go in the secrets menu and you play the last cutscene. And boom, you get your last trophy. So, I heard people saying that if you're doing this on PS3, only 15% of your trophies unlock after entering the boss battle with Metal Core. If you do this a second time, you unlock 50% of your trophies. So, all I'm gonna say, guys, is you try it out yourself. Don't cheat. Shut up, Vivi. Okay? No one cares about your opinion. I'm just saying, if you're playing this for the first time, what's the fun of cheating, right? Also, when I was uh, playing around with free camera mode, the main menu, well, the pause menu, my bad, it disappeared quite a few times. Only the words were on screen. 
if you would restart the mission, nothing would happen. You would have to quit the game. Now for those of you wondering, hey, if I quit the game, do I have to re-enter debug mode? No, it's still unlocked. Jack 3, same scenario. I did hear a beep when entering the partial code. Wiki says you don't hear a beep, but I did. Debug mode works just like Jack 2, from the main menu or pause. In game, just like Jack 2, add trouble. Open the pause menu, L2, R1 to show the hidden features, skip right to the final boss, and story related trophies should pop up. Jack 3 is a bit trickier when you want to platinum it using a debug. Some orb related trophies will remain locked, so you're gonna have to figure out a workaround, alright? I'm pretty sure there are videos on YouTube people showing you how to glitch those trophies when in debug mode, so go ahead and check those out. So with that being said guys, this is it for the video. If you're interested with this whole new discovery debug mode using your controller, go ahead and give it a try. It works on all platforms, have fun. So with that being said, I've been Vivi and thank you so much for watching.